Hey guys, this is Goku and on this channel we talk about poker and ideas that can improve your life. Today we're gonna jump into another WPT GTO trainer session and we're gonna play some of the MP2 open versus button call uh, GTO spots. We've already played 75 hands and today we're gonna play another 25 with the goal in mind of uh, making as, as small as less uh, as few mistakes as possible so let's jump right into it and let's see if we can make a, a zero EV loss session all right we have pocket eights on an ace ace king and I think I'm betting here two and a half which is a slight mistake it should be a check majority of the time now on the queen we're gonna check and instead we should probably bet 39% of the time checking is fine as well now we've hit our 8 on the river and what are we going to do to get uh, paid off we're gonna over bet and instead we should check 72 percent of the time and over bet just 23 percent of the time that's it's good to know is 10 off on a four jack eight is this a, a, a flop that we check yeah it is the villain checks behind we have a king on the turn i think we should bet now but the third, okay, ideal action would actually be over betting, which is interesting, but betting uh, a third is also a third of the strategy. We have a nine on the river, and are we going to bet at this, or are we going to check? I think we need to bet, if we want to take this down, and I think we need to bet two thirds. Yeah, that's the ideal action. And the villain falls. Pocket deuces on an ace seven nine flop. We're gonna check. That's the ideal action. We have an eight of spades on the turn. And I think we're gonna check again. The GTO agrees with that and we have a four of spades on the river mm. and I don't know if it's a, if it's a check and give up if it's a dong bet dong bet doesn't make sense because we're we're getting called by wars betting five I think I'm gonna check and give up yeah the solver agrees and we lose to a pair of threes that is fine now we have king queen off on a four five three assume that's a check it is the villain checks as well we have a nine of hearts on the turn we're going to check again we should over bet here huh over bets the ideal action and it's played f almost 50 percent of the time Checking is just played 15% of the, of the time. But we check nonetheless. And the uh, villain now bets 5 BBs on the, on the 9 here on the turn. I think we fold. Yeah. King queen off again on a 6 plus 9 with 2 hearts. We're going to check again. And we're gonna check call. And actually we should fold 93% of the time. That's good to know. I think I am uh, over calling here. Even though it's uh, a zero EV loss. We're now gonna check. And there's a seven of clubs on the river 
and and we have to bet if we want to win this and probably we have to over bet yeah that's what i would do and the solver would do as well but we lose to a two pair unfortunately queen jack off on a jack 10 six with all clubs i think is a check yeah the villain checks as well so now we're going to bet two thirds and we should check again okay we should check again 55 percent of the time and if we bet two thirds is not a good bet i think uh one third is a better bet but anyways there's a deuce of spades on the river and we are going to bet a third yeah probably small value and we get shoved at and that's a little bit weird if you ask me but we're gonna fold we're not gonna know uh, what the result of that play would be because the tree hasn't been calculated unfortunately we have king queen of spades on a 3-3 jack i think that is going to be a bet two and a half that's a bet 5.5 91% of the time okay now that's a check i think and uh the villain bets a third of the pot is that a call or a fall i think that's a call but maybe we should just give up the spots like that yeah 88 percent of the time so that's a good fold, a solid one. Pocket eights on a queen five six. Is that a bet two and a half? It is. We get called. There's a ten of hearts on the turn. I'm going to check. The solver uh, would check as well. And we have a jack on the river. We're gonna check. Call probably. Oh, that's a. Right, that is a dong bad spot. It is one. But we didn't dong bet, uh, and we're going to to check call, right? Whoa! The ideal action would actually be be shoving all in here, which I am definitely never doing with pocket aids, but maybe. Uh, I should be. Yeah, I'd prefer pocket nines for that because at least we're we're blocking some straights. But yeah, mm. interesting. But so the the rest of the strategy is is calling like we did, so that's fine. We lost to ace ten, and now we have pocket nines on an ace four four with two hearts think uh, we're gonna bet two and a half and checking is fine as well and should be played more often pocket kings on an ace three three well let's check then yeah that's 52 percent check we have another ace on the on the turn maybe this is when we This is when we bet two and a half or over bet. Maybe this is where we check again. Yeah, checking is fine. Villain checks as well. We have a nine on the on the turn on the river, and we're gonna over bet. And we do not get called, unfortunately. And actually checking again 
is a little bit better than overbetting. Pocket threes on a jack eight six. I assume that's going to be a check. Yeah. The villain checks as well. Deuce on the turn. Is that a hand that we bet two and a half with? Nope, should be a check again. We hit our three on the on the on the river. I I I don't check ever here. And I, I wanna do it because I know the, the solver probably is gonna show it as the ideal action, but I feel like the villain checks behind way too often for it to be profitable, but we're gonna try and see. Whoa! The villain actually fulfilled our dream. Our dream, so we can shove on him. But he doesn't call. Pocket aces on a 10-9 queen. That's probably a bet five and a half. It's not. It's bet two and a half. It's never a bet 5.5. That's good to know. Pocket kings on an ace, six ace is going to be bet two and a half. Yeah. We get called. There's a king on the turn. We're gonna continue betting. And the vil the the GTO would prefer checking here 83% of the time. And if we're betting, two thirds is not the ideal bet. I assume uh, over betting or betting a third is. And now there's a 10 of diamonds on the river and we are going to we are going to bet we're going to shove it all in we should check again yeah i need to for sure work on my checking and and have way more checks in my arsenal because yeah by checking we can induce so much and we protect our checking range. And I'm just betting way, way, way too often. Ace 4 suited on an ace king 6 is a bet 2.5 or a check. And check should actually be the more frequent play. Now we check on the queen. The villain checks as well. And uh, 7 on the on the river we're gonna dunk it yeah that's a dunk bet awesome very good to know king queen of spades on a jack jack six we're gonna check and that's a bet two and a half okay we're check calling of course that's a race to ten okay now there's a nine of hearts on the turn. I'm gonna check. And we're gonna fold. Fold's the ideal action, but it's only played 11% of the time. Wow. I can't understand how is that just 11%. Sorry about that. I'll uh, close my... Yeah, let's go to the next one. King Jack off on a Jack Queen 10. That's probably... Bet two and a half, yeah. King Queen suited on an ace seven nine is gonna be a check. Check call or check fold. I guess check call. Can we fold King Queen here? I guess we should 
93% of the time. So yeah, it's really an easy fold. But yeah, now we check. The villain checks again and we actually get there. <laughs> so are we going to check? Hmm. We check called the flop. We checked the turn. We should probably bet now and we should overbet it. Nope, we should not overbet it. We should just don't bet it 85% of the time. And overbetting is just 0.06% of the solver strategy. So it's pretty bad. King Queen suited on a 3 4 9 with two hearts. Is that a bad 5.5? It's a check 81% of the time, but bad 5.5 is small part of the strategy and a, a little EV loss. On the 10, we're gonna check now. Should continue betting, uh, the solver says. Bet 6. 32% of the time we did not do that. Now there's another 3. And I think we have to bet. And 2 thirds seems like the best bet. It's a minute part of the strategy. Small EV loss. And the, 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 the solver actually plays 99% check here. So it gives up on the hand. Doesn't take the, this last stop, which is interesting. King Queen off on an Ace Jack Deuce. It's going to be a check by us. Bet two and a half is the preferred option. Now on this uh, second Jack. I think we can try and take the initiative and bet and overbet it. It would be fine uh, EV loss wise, but unfortunately it's just played 12% of the time. So checks the, the preferred option, the ideal option or betting smaller. Mm. Now we have another ace and we're just gonna dunk bet it. And that's a bad play, unfortunately. And that, that really hurts because so far we've been doing great. And now this EV lost, this hand has probably uh, buried our session. But oh well. Pocket sixes on a three king six with two spades, I assume is about 5.5. It is not, it should be just Bet two and a half. We're continuing betting on the four. The solver agrees, but the villain falls. A7 suited on a four, five, eight. Uh, is that going to be a bet two and a half? Should be a check most of the time, but that's fine as well. Now we're going to, to check. On a five of hearts or bet five or bet four. Mm, I think we're check calling here. Okay, the preferred play would be to raise it. This is also something I am not doing currently. Raising it up in a spot like that. It's very good to, to have plays like that in your arsenal. And now I'm going to to dunk bet it. Should be a check again. Yeah, I I don't seem to get those dunk bets so far, but hopefully I will at some point in the future. Uh, Ace ten suited on a seven tray queen. We're betting two and a half. The solver agrees. We get called. We pick up some more equity on the turn. So we're going to overbet it. 
it's a fine play, but betting two thirds is the ideal action. Pocket fives on a queen eight jack. We're going to check. Call. Six of spades on the turn. We're going to check. And we're going to fold. Pretty straightforward. Ace jack off on on a 9-10-9 with two spades. That's probably a check or a bet two and a half. And if the villain bets 5.5, I think we can fold it here. Yeah. Ace 10 on an ace tray queen with two hearts is a bet two and a half. Should actually be a check most of the time. Now on the four of uh, collapse, do we bet small? Do we check? Do we bet bigger? I think we bet eight here. Yeah. We get called. And now there's a five uh, on, the, on the river. We're gonna check and we're gonna call. Excellent, we, we win versus a six. And we've played our 25 hands today, so that's awesome. Let's see the EV loss. Well, as you can see, we are uh, minus 33 BBs of EV loss. And if it weren't for this terrible hand here and this a little bit uh, worse hand there, we'd be at an amazing uh, overall EV loss. But oh well. What you can do, we are getting our checks and calls almost right, uh, at least during this session. We should be falling more though. And betting or raising, as always, we are dominating. But yeah, that would be it for this hand, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you stayed this long, please leave a comment, GTO. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, please. Uh, do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye